Hi there guys, welcome back to Byte Review. This time we're having a look at China's finest Xiaomi Redmi Note 2. Kicking off the specs, we've got a 5.5 inch Full HD screen, a 13 megapixel camera, a 5 megapixel front facing, and Android 5 lollipop. And that's all backed up with a MediaTek Octa Core clocked at 2 gigahertz with 2 gigabytes of RAM and a 3060 milliamp hour battery. And as this is a Chinese smartphone, we've got a dual SIM and a micro SD card slot. You've got to hand it to Xiaomi when it comes to the design of the Note 2. It's slim, soft to the touch and well built. It feels like it's a little inspired by Lumia designs with the wraparound back that's interchangeable, but overall it just feels generally good to hold. Xiaomi provide a range of colours as well and like this eggshell blue they're all very good looking. And the best thing is it doesn't feel cheap. The main story here is the software. This is Android Lollipop but not as you know it. Xiaomi use their own skin called MIUI 6 which while very good looking is about as skinned as Android can get. It's generally pretty slick and things run fast thanks to that octa-core processor. But the things to notice are there's no app drawer like most Android devices and the whole skin feels very Apple. And the inspiration is everywhere from the pull down frosted glass menu to the settings and then all the way to the calculator which to be honest is just an outright copy. But that's fine, it looks good. But that's not to say Xiaomi haven't got their own software tweaks which are great. The one handed mode for instance is very useful, it brings your screen down to 4 inches so you can use it and then push it back when you're done. The 13 megapixel snapper on the back is par for the course on mid range Android phones recently and the Redmi Note 2 is no different. It's fine in good sunlight and captures a good amount of detail and colour. However, turn the sunshine down and the cracks begin to show. The Note 2 doesn't fare too well in low light situations. But to be honest, that's just fine, given its price point and its relative competition. You're also provided with a 5 megapixel front facing camera as well, which is pretty good. Just so you're aware, I had to buy the FDD version of this phone for it to work in the UK and it only works with a few 4G bands, so check your network before you do go ahead and buy it. Also, battery life has been wildly inconsistent. So at £118, the price is good, the design is great, the screen's sharp and the power's all there. Not so good, the battery's not great, the 4G bands and the software. If you enjoyed this review, do stick around, I plan on making more, and thanks for watching. See you next time.